if you have an iconic song like that, it's because you're really, really blooming good. <laughs> This one is a patron vote winner and the theme was space and we couldn't pass by the rocket man himself. She packed my bags last night, free flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high as a kite by then. His piano playing has such warmth and personality. I love it. I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out of space. On such a time, let's fly. Okay. Over here, just before the brilliant chorus, um, it's really interesting how he goes up to his head voice, and you can hear a little bit of instability as he goes up to some of those high notes, which is really, really normal. Only the first time, the second time was absolutely perfect, and you know, everyone, it's live. It's live. No one's going to be a hundred percent perfect, even the amazing Elton John. And uh, there's. A, a reason for this, it can be quite tricky. As you get higher, your vocal cords get thinner and thinner. They stretch thinner and thinner. And if you kind of over egg your breath a little bit, then it can either become a little tense or um, a little unstable. I think that that was a breath issue there. Um, also, it can be the p sort of note that people instinctually want to squeeze into. Whereas actually, as you get higher, sometimes it's about stepping back. And this depends on the person and what you're doing but um it's worth a try if you're struggling with high notes maybe you actually need to step back from the pedal a little bit such good writing so good there So those high notes in that chorus, they are so solid and he's mixing them. They're not a full head voice, but they are have a touch of the feeling of chest voice in it. Now this kind of feels different to different people and you're using slightly different muscles and I'm not gonna go fully into all this, but um, what he is making sure to most singers, they'll feel the sound at the front of their face. Now you hear people talking about mask resonance or forward placement or um, twang. Twang is what I'm looking for. Now, um, it, it's something that at first you just need to pay attention to where you feel the resonance, the, the sound buzzing around your face. Is it towards the back? Uh, is it towards the front? Uh, and you might start to feel really definite places. For him, those high notes have the sound of forward placement, of mass placement, or of twang, depending on what you want to define things as. And at first, just try aiming it forward. Now, this doesn't mean using more breath, because as we talked about earlier, that doesn't always help. It doesn't mean using more muscles. It's just about adapting where you feel the sound. And it's kind of a weird thing to think about if you've never thought about it before. Um, but I also want to say this is great writing and it was written in collaboration with a guy called Bernie Taupin and it's really interesting because he, well, I'll tell you about it in another Can't section. Please to oh, raise your kids. In fact, it's cold as hell. Mm, that's good. And there's no one there to raise them. If you do. It's so solid here though. So good. And all the science I don't 
understand It's just my job Five days a week I don't know someone, you know, the instrumentation here is really sparse. It's just him. I think there's a bass and a guitar and drums. Um, but a lot of the time it's just him and the keys. And he has so much warmth and emotion in his playing. The way that he arranges things, it just it, it's packed full of musical information um, and emotional information. It's so beautifully done. I absolutely absolutely adore it on John's piano playing I think it's fantastic and arrangements um, now the story about this song it was written or the verse was originally written by Bernie Taupin and he was driving home to his parents and it was taking um, hours it took him two hours to drive to his parents and he thought of this song in his head at the start of the journey and had to try and keep it in his head the whole way along um, so that he could get home and record it and he said it drove him absolutely mad it was like a, a very annoying journey but now he's very pleased because the song did so well and I think it's gonna be a long long time the touchdown brings me round I get to find I'm not the man I think I am at home oh, no 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 I'm a rocket man Something that a lot of my students, I've been talking to a lot of my students about recently is where you put the consonants on a word. So for example, long, long time. He's singing long, long time. He's opening his vowels more towards an ah and putting the ng sound right at the end. It's a stopper for the word rather than something that you sing through. And that can be quite tricky. Some consonants like mm, mm, um, or errs uh, especially can get in the way because you can sing through them but they can kind of muffle the sound make things less clear his diction is oh so spot on and precise you can hear all those wonderful lyrics um, and that's to do with how crisp he makes those consonants keep, keeping them right to the end and um, things like d b k you can't hold on to those but it's something to really pay attention to on things like mm, Mm, and er, anything you can hold on to because you don't want to lose that clarity. Well, you might want to, but not if you're singing Elton John. So good. Sometimes I wonder what the point of reacting to some of these amazing, iconic artists are because there's so much going on I couldn't possibly talk about in a single reaction. And they're just really good. If you have an iconic song like that, it's because you're really, really blooming good. And, you know, there's nothing that I could say. And to get that good requires hours of nuanced practice and a real intuitive understanding of voice and music. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.